Hi everyone, welcome to day two of Pondo in Tokyo, coming to you live from Toronto. My name is Dustin Childs, I am with the Zero Day Initiative, sitting in our Mid-South headquarters, my house, as I'm remote, as most of us are these days. But we've got a great day of Pondo in action for you. Today we have seven more attempts across various products. We're gonna get started at 10 a.m. Eastern with Team Flashpack. Today they're gonna to try and attack the WAN interface on the TP-Link AC1750. That's how we kick off, we'll see how that goes. This time, they used a three bug chain to get arbitrary code execution on the TP-Link AC1750. Uh-oh. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> That's, a good, That's a good looking shell right there. That, that looks like a successful demonstration. Their effort earned them another $20,000, which brings their two day total to 40,000. It also puts them in the lead for Master of Pwn with four total points. So what are your plans for the rest of the day now? Cause you're done for the contest, right? So the rest of the day will be chilling and watching the other part participants taking their attempts um, and basically watching the, uh, the results, how many points uh, other people will get uh, and uh, having fun. So we'll see how it goes for the rest of the day. What do you think of the trophy? It's nice, it's very nice. But actually, I, I, can you show it more in the camera? I, I didn't see it properly. <laughs> Oh, I, yeah, beautiful. I think beautiful. Be more beautiful it's with beautiful. our team we name with engraved there. To, uh... <laughs> Next up, Team Bugscale targeted the Western Digital MyCloud Pro Series PR4100 NAS server. Good job. <laughs> that was super quick. While they were able to successfully exploit the NAS, the bugs they used had previously been reported during the contest. This does count as a partial win, but no Master of Pwn points were awarded. Our next contestant was 84C0, who returned to target the LAN interface of the Netgear Nighthawk R7800 router. There you go. As a reminder, every attempt has a five minute time period. Yeah. I can go with it. Hey, we're, there we go. Success. He used three different bugs to get a root shell on the device. However, one of these three bugs had been previously submitted. This does count as a partial win, with 84C0 earning $4,000 and half a point towards Master of Pump. Own to own veterans F Secure Labs targeted the Samsung Q60 TE television and wasted no time in getting a reverse shell on the fully patched smart TV. Good job. Nice. Nice. Congratulations. Woohoo! <laughs> However, the bug they used was publicly known, which means this is another partial win. They do earn one point towards Master of Pwn for their efforts. I'm happy to be joined by Mike Gibson, who is the Vice President for Trend Micro Research. Mike, are you with us? How are you doing? Hey, Dustin. Yep, I'm here. Thank you. Great. So happy to have you. Nice looking shirt. I see you got on there. Yeah, I got to represent, right? Yeah. Exactly. How have you seen Pondo Own Evolve just in the last uh, really three years? Oh, it's it's a lot, right? So, I mean, the, the, the biggest and obvious thing was uh, our expansion into, you know, partnering with S4 and doing the Pondo in Miami contest for the first time earlier this year. I think that was uh, great to see. Great to see us bring some new targets to the competition. Um, obviously, we've got customers that play in that space that are interested in the intelligence we get from there. And also just, you know, seeing improvements in the in the products that uh, that our partner vendors were bringing to, uh, to that contest and seeing them improve the quality and fix some of these bugs, I think was great. Yeah, so you say you've been following along. Any highlights so far from this year? <laughs> I don't know if I consider this one a highlight or a low light, but the scary thing is how many of these targets I have in my own home. Sam Thomas of Pentest LTD followed with an exploit chain targeting the Western Digital MyCloud Pro Series PR4100 NAS. You made it uh, you, you made it look very easy, Don. Yeah, it's too easy. But that was a little <laughs> too easy. <laughs> We're so easy we forgot to cue the confetti. There we go, look at that. <laughs> he was able to gain arbitrary code execution through a combination of two bugs. However, one of these bugs had previously been submitted earlier in the contest. This results in another partial win as Sam earns $10,000 and one Master of Pwn point. I'm very pleased to be joined by Brian Mastenbrook from Western Digital. He is the Senior Director of Product Security Engineering. Uh, so how's, how's the contest been going for you so far? It's been going great. We're really excited to take part in the contest and I wanna thank um, DDI and Trend Micro for putting all of this together um, and getting this kicked off 
relatively flawlessly, despite the challenges of doing it in a streaming format this year. It's been a lot of fun so far. When you first heard a Western digital product was going to be included in Pwned Own, what were your thoughts? Were you apprehensive or what was going on there? I think we're very excited actually to hear about that. Western Digital is investing very heavily in the security of our products. We really believe in keeping our products secure in order to keep our customers' data secure and private to them. And contests like this are a great opportunity for us to participate and demonstrate our approach to product security, to demonstrate our approach to transparency and product security. Uh, so I'm, I'm curious, though, were you aware of the Pwned Own contest before uh, this, this particular iteration of it? Oh, absolutely. I've followed along in years past, and I was happy to see that ZDI has decided to expand it to start including some of these new categories. Uh, things like home NAS devices, home routers, smart TVs, and other home consumer electronics and IoT devices are a big part of the security landscape these days. And at Western Digital, we believe that all users should have security in their data, they should have privacy in their data, and Contests like this are a great opportunity for us to engage with the security research community in a transparent way to help improve the security of this class of device. In the penultimate attempt of day two, the team from Synactiv used a trio of unique bugs to get a root shell via the LAN interface of the TP-Link AC1750 smart Wi-Fi router. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. They also gave some style points by having the router's lights flash on and off, quite a showy display. The successful entry earned them $5,000 and one point towards Master of Pwn. The final entry of day two was filled with drama as the DevCore team targeted the Synology Disk Station DS418 Play NAS. Their first attempt failed and their second try needed more than three and a half minutes before their elegant heap overflow provided them with root access to the server. 90 seconds left. Yeah, yeah, we got it. All right. Yeah, man. I'm guessing by the applause and positive uh, <laughs> affirmations there that we have got a successful yeah. entry. Up, dude? Their effort earns them $20,000 and two points towards Master of Fun. That brings day two to a close. In all, we awarded $59,000 for 10 bugs across five devices. Yeah, I mean, another exciting day here at Pwn to Own. I mean, uh, when you start off with that with a WAN exploit against a, a home router, you know, that's always quite interesting. Team Flashback really brought the goods on that one. And then across the board, you saw, you know, you saw all sorts of stuff happen in the contest. You had a full collision where every single bug in the chain was actually uh, previously known. You had, we had partial collisions where, you know, two out of the three bugs uh, used in the chain uh, were unknown at the time. Uh, we had somebody try to use an end day at the owner at, uh, at Pwn to Own. Uh, and then we ended out off with two really nice successful wins. Uh, one from Synactive where they had a three bug chain that actually, uh, you know, caused the lights on the router to blink in a funny way. Uh, and then DevCore yes. bringing uh, some really elegant heap overflows to the contest. The stuff tomorrow, any predictions there? I don't know. It'll be quite interesting. I mean, I think we'll see. I mean, it, like I said, it's going to start off with a bang there with DevCore going after Western Digital. Um, and I think, you know, we'll see a lot of these uh, individuals are new to Pwn to Own. So I'm hoping for a lot of success tomorrow. I mean, obviously, we want to spend all of right. the, the money we have allocated for Pwn to Own at the contest. And so we hope that everybody has successful entries uh, and allows us to, you know, uh, you know, kill some of the bugs that are out there. Uh, we can get some patches released and protect against the exploitation of these bugs. Our contest closes out tomorrow with five additional attempts and will crown Master of Pwn as the overall winner of the competition. It's currently a tight race and the first entry of day three should be decisive. It's shaping up to be an exciting finale of Pwn to Own Tokyo live from Toronto. We'll see you then.